Now that we have your instrument together, blowing through it is just a matter of pushing air through your closed lips. So close your lips like you're saying the letter M, and then keep them nice and tight and blow lots of fast air, right? Just push air as fast as you can through your closed lips that are nice and tight. Once you can get that sound with little short bursts, we're going to try to make it even longer. Keep trying it. As you close your lips, you need faster air to push through those closed lips. Keep trying it. And now we're going to do that same sound and put it on the trombone. So bring the trombone up, put the mouthpiece right on your lips, right in the center, and make those same short bursts of air. Keep those lips tight and the air fast. Remember, use your stomach to push that air out. And then try to go for some longer sounds. There's a few different sounds that you could get from the trombone from doing this. I just played one of the higher ones. You might get a lower one like this. Or you might get an even lower one like this. Either one is fine as long as you're using lots of fast air. So try and go for the higher one at first. If you're getting a sound like this, or it's just air coming out, that's telling you that your lips aren't buzzing at all. Push them together more and blow faster air through them. If you're getting a really low and weak sound like this, that's telling you that your lips aren't tight enough and you're not using this part of your stomach at all. Really use that to push all the air out. Let's focus on the lower sound and then the one right above it. So try to get these two different sounds. Remember, we're not using the slide at all. We're just changing the amount and the pressure of air that we're putting through this thing. That's the lower one. And that's the higher one. For a higher sound, just remember, tighter lips, faster air. Really use this to push the air out. Try it again. Lower one. And really get that higher one. Your stomach is going to push the air out of the body. So just put your hand right here and try to do that without the instrument. Just go. So you can really feel that it's pushing everything out. And that's how you get a higher sound on this instrument. If you're getting that higher sound no problem, then go for the next one up because there's a bunch more up there that you can certainly get out of your instrument. Just takes those lips and the air from right here. Try it. Go for that sound. Take a big breath and push it through. Let's play around with that lowest one and the next one up. So let's start with the lowest sound we can. Go to the next one up. A little bit tighter lip, firm air. Now I'm going to start on the low one and then change the air to get up to the higher one. Listen and then try it. Try it with me. Now let's start on the higher one and go to the lower one. Listen first. Try it with me. Now, 
I'm gonna play one or two of those and I want you to try to figure out which one it is and play it back. <laughs> Your turn, try it. I'm gonna do it one more time and you repeat. Ready and go. I'm gonna do one more now. Listen again and repeat. Ready and go. The best thing you can do at this point in learning how to play the trombone is put it together, take it apart, put it back together, and then try those few different sounds that we just learned. Keep experimenting with it. It's okay if it doesn't happen right away. It's going to take you a couple weeks of doing that every single day just to get used to it and then we can start making it better and better and I guarantee it's going to get easier and easier and you will be able to do it. But you have to try it and have to do this at home. And finally, go show someone at home. Show them your two different sounds because I'm sure they'd love to hear it.